Hi guys, it's Malika again. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be reviewing these products right here that I had tried from Mix Easy. So there's three products total. So if you guys are interested in finding out what my thought on these products, then please keep on watching. Full disclosure, I did receive these products from Mix Easy, so they did reach out to me asking whether or not I want to try out their products and you know definitely review it out, test it out and do a review video on these products so that being said this will not influence the way I review these products these three products in general so let's go ahead and get on to the review part so I did pick out three products to test out and review for you guys so I picked out the hair conditioner hair shampoo and then also the face cream so I'm going on my phone right now this is uh, mixeasy.com it's where you can purchase this product so right at the very bottom it listing all the stuff that make this company different than any other companies so they say their products are natural and organic they are vegan friendly cruelty free freshly prepared and they are premium quality easy returns handmade and customized for you so that's what they claim so obviously there's no paraben sulfates harsh chemical toxins dye silicone mineral oils and they do not test on animal and instead of going straight to the products itself I will tell you guys a little bit of my experience and what I think of the company to begin with so when the company reaching out to me they asked me you know if I want to try the product so then I went to their website to just skim through what it is that they are for you know and to check out their products and I was really interested in their product just because um, you can make your own products so essentially you can customize what go into your products so if you go on their website there's four products I think that they offer so you can get face cleanser face cream of course that's the one that I have and shampoo and then conditioner and then you clicked on the products itself and then it's asking you a bunch of questions so so when I click on the face cream it's asking me what kind or what type of skin I have so there's oily normal and combination and dry so there are three choices you can choose from mine was more on the oily side I believe that's what I choose so I'm just gonna go ahead click that again and then you press next and then it's asking you to add up to six main ingredients to your product so this is where the customization comes in so you get to pick and choose what ingredients you want to go into your product so there's nourishing and softening there's something for minimizing pores something for blemish something for to calm sensitive skins and there's anti fatigues anti pollutant dewy looking skin firmness brightening the list goes on so there's a lots of ingredients in here that you can choose from so once you add all the ingredients that you want to include in your products you get to choose whether or not you want your product to be fragrant free or you want any scent to it so the choices for the face cream I believe there's sunlight dance honey and milk fragrant free bamboo and cucumber and my face cream just because you know I have very sensitive skin my skin get irritated very easily I did choose um, fragrant free so I didn't want anything in there so the face cream that I got is retail for $40 and then the shampoo is 35 and then the conditioner is 34 and I do want to point out that their packaging is so cute I love how bright and cheerful they are so that is what it looks like so when you order that is what you will get so let's go into the ingredients of all the products so for $40 you get 1.69 fluid ounce and it does has a pump applicator so that's easy to dispense the products out of this face cream I'm going to their website again and pull out the key ingredients in my face cream so the first product is called linden tree extract and that is supposed to help with brightening and then the next is daisy flower extract and that is supposed to be good for even skin tone and chamomile obviously it's to calm your skin the rosehip extract is for dewy looking skin and then we have the propolis extract is for nourish 
and soften the face. And last but not least is Isenasia. Don't quote me on the name. It's supposed to be minimizing pores. So this face cream right here is supposed to nourish and soften my skin, minimizing my pores, and give my skin a dewy looking complexion. It's supposed to help calm and soothe my skin and also brighten up my complexion. So those are the main key ingredients in this product. In terms of the formula itself, I think it is really nice and light. I love how fast it's absorbing to my skin and it almost gives my skin like semi-matte finish so it doesn't look, you know, like like it just staying on the top of my skin at all. It just completely stung into my skin and my skin looks so hydrated. It has a little bit of a sheen to it but it doesn't look like glossy or anything. So I really really like that. I really enjoy that and I do notice that my skin looks so nice and hydrated and it looks very useful. It doesn't look super dewy and I think one of the ingredients in here is supposed to be dewy but I don't think it's giving my skin that dewy look. Which I don't mind because, you know, if you're going to use this under a foundation, a hydrating foundation, you, you know, you could easily achieve that dewy look. So I really don't mind that my skin don't look super dewy. And I know there's a lot of active ingredients in here and it's hard to tell whether one active ingredient works over the other but like my face does not have any adverse reaction to it whatsoever and it definitely feel like nice and hydrated so i definitely recommend you guys to check out this face cream let's move on to the shampoo and conditioner okay so i do have the exact same active or key ingredients in both the shampoo and the conditioner so the shampoo and conditioner both include um essenasia extract that word that i can't say and then arnica extract propolis extract and calendula extract chamomile extract and damask rose flower extract I will have the list of all of these ingredients down in the description box below because I definitely butchered a bunch of them. So those are the key ingredients in there and to be precise, let me pull up the website so we can see what those key ingredients does. So the key ingredients on this hair care products, it's supposed to be revitalize, anti-dry scalp, soften, nourishing calm and hydrate those are the key main ingredients in here so for 35 and 34 you will get 250 milliliter or 8.45 fluid ounce for both shampoo and the conditioner so let me be honest with you guys I honestly cannot tell the difference when I use this shampoo compared to my other shampoo and conditioner that I use from the drugstore so Right off the back, I can tell you this, that I will definitely not repurchasing this if I ever run out, just because it is a little bit expensive. And I can understand why it is more expensive compared to, you know, the shampoo conditioner you can get from Target. Because this, you can customize and decide what can go into, you know, these products. So, that being said, I think that's will add up to like the product cost itself but in terms of overall result I really don't see any big difference in terms of my hair so for $40 I definitely think the face cream worth it and the shampoo conditioner didn't really have much to say about that and it doesn't really work for me but it might work for you so definitely check them out if you are interested and you know support small local business so yeah thank you so much for watching this review video till the end and if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel of course and follow me on instagram at simply savan and i shall see you in my next video bye